that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. The Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, they were marrying, giving and marrying, eating, drinking, buying, billing, and selling, just where we're at right now. You know? And wasn't aware until the flood came. We got to be mindful. The Bible said, I'm making you a chance to read. He said, listen here. Man, the Lord ain't slack concerning his promise, though, didn't Peter? A thousand years is like one day we got, and one day like a thousand years. So God ain't slack. Whatever God them promised, it's going to come to pass, you know. So he said, look, as it was in the days of Noah, what they're doing right now, they're buying and billing, selling, you know, marrying, giving in marriage, and so shall it be when Jesus come back, you know. And one scripture, Jesus said, this generation should not pass. And he wasn't talking about the generation him, but he's talking about the generation when all these things begin to happen. He said, this generation shall not pass. That is the generation. We're in the generation now. Some people say a generation is 40 years. Some say 30 years. I just don't really know, but I um, tend to believe about a 40 years span. But he said, this generation, look at this generation we're in now. Ain't nothing off limit for them. Nothing. Doing everything, you know. I mean, you can name it, cook it, they're doing it. And they're proud of it. They ain't ashamed of it. You know? As it was in the days of Noah, this is what we had right now, Brother Terry. You know? Mine and the departed from the Lord, our mind and the departed people just don't care nothing for Jesus no more. You know? We got to be mindful of where we're at. Sometimes we lose a vision of where we're at, but now nah, this is the evil. As I told you one before, I saw this guy there pumping gas, Montina. Had one, had a hand on the knob of pumping gas, had a nine millimeter in the other hand. Pumping gas with a nine millimeter in his hand, you know. Just somebody come out there and rob at the gas station. Ready. Ain't that sad? You know, you can't pump gas. Somebody, sister Rochelle, somebody trying to rob you at the gas station, you know. And this is where we're at right now. You know for yourself, you got to be watched. You got to be alert. Everybody's packing. Everybody got a gun, and they ain't just got to do, sometimes they got these guns just to try to protect themselves. 